I was super nervous. And it was really nerve wracking and I had never been like in such a competitive situation. Like just being judged by any coach is nerve wracking. Obviously now that I've been doing it for eight years, it's not too bad for me. Although nerve wracking, legacy tryouts have become routine for many high school age soccer players. However, in response to social distancing regulations, this season's unprecedented alterations to tryouts will shake things up for even the most seasoned players. Legacy released the following statement on the future of tryouts. Davis Legacy Soccer Club continues to put the health and safety of our members at the forefront of our decision making. NorCal Premier Soccer has tentatively set the tryout window for next season as June 6th to June 26th. Any final decision regarding whether tryouts can proceed will ultimately be determined by our local public health authorities. A lot is still unknown about the regulations and their applications and what that could mean for soccer tryouts. All the coaches would wear masks. We would have to practice social distancing, so there'd have to be like six feet between each player. The players that aren't actively involved in the drills at the time will have to wear masks. Mostly it's going to be individual skills and no like scrimmages because we can't really get close to each other. Some players are worried that this style of tryouts may not adequately showcase their skills. I think I show my skill best when I'm in game situation. I've never been like the type of player to be like amazing at juggling or like like I guess doing 1v1 type things. I've always been the player to like be in a game and be intense and have hard work ethic. While the U.S. Soccer Federation has yet to release guidelines for returning to play, the United States Olympic and Paralympic Committee recommends a five-phase return to training. Initial phases include regulations like limiting the number of players and coaches at practices. From BlueDevilHub.com, this is Jenna Olivari reporting.